With the election season in full swing, how important is political risk? Do closed-end fund investors need to think about what may happen at the polls? In general, I think political risk is an overwrought topic. I tend to think that as the election passes into the rearview mirror, people learn to live with whatever the scenario is. We've seen in many cases previously where people were very, very much focused on what the political risks were, and by and large, these issues fade into the rearview mirror quite quickly. I, uh, I'm an investor and I look at the polls. I'm not overly perturbed about uh, what I'm seeing. and. Uh, I think this is just a given that we have an election uh, in the U.S. and we're going to have another election in four years' time and so forth. So this is just a fact of life. And uh, I think uh, the companies that I uh, look at and invest in, they continue to do well regardless of who will win. So to me, it's uh, more noise than uh, substance. First of all, you know, I'm a Canadian, so I'm looking at this from outside. I'm not going to... Uh, 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 put my hat in, in for either side. I think political risk is, is always something to be concerned about. I don't think that it's genuinely something you need to worry about that much in the United States. This is a very large, mature democracy. I, I think we'll, we'll get through it all right. Uh, it's more a case of uh, you know, policy changes at the margins. I think that the market will have a reaction. What it is, I don't know. But what I can say is if you think about your portfolio first from asset allocation and then from deciding when to sell expensive and buy cheap, you'll do better in the end without having to worry every day what's happening or who becomes president. One of the things that we are calling for within the political uh, environment is regardless of who wins the White House, we do think there may be some more uh, fiscal spending and fiscal reform that may happen uh, in 2017. There hasn't been a whole lot of that uh, in the past couple of years, and that's so something that you could uh, look forward to that maybe could spur a little bit more economic growth uh, in 2017.